Hi, it's another great day for carving inside today. There is no sun. So I'm on my way to the workshop and I will share with you how to carve this face according to the right proportions. Hello everyone, welcome to Homewood Spirit. My name is Vladimir and I'm here today with Ian McKellen. I'm quite excited today because I'm going to share with you how to carve a human face according to the right proportions. For those who don't know Ian McKellen, he's a brilliant actor uh, who played the role of uh, Gandalf in The Lord of the Rings. It's not that visible without the beard here, but it's him. And I have seen uh, another movie with him. It was called The Good Liar. And uh, he actually inspired me. His face inspired me to make this video. Uh, after studying this uh, head, uh, I have created also this pattern here, which you can see right over here. There are the dimensions of the block of wood with all the cuts. And this is how the face looks like in the real life. And what's the most important down below here is the, um, another face with exact proportions of the human face. Why I'm talking about this? It is actually really important for us to know exactly where which part of face should be. So for example, when we know that we can fit five eyes into the width of the face or that the length of the face is actually two thirds of the width or that the eyes are always in the middle of the face, then we, we know how to make the face. It's, it will be our starting point always for creating any face. Even when we do the caricatures, uh, we first want to know these, um, these characteristics, characteristics and the laws. So when I want to make the chin bigger, first I want to know this. Okay, so this is really important for us and it will really help you um, in creating the faces. So the, the, this page, this pattern is uh, down below the video. There is a link, you can download it. And uh, here is uh, the carving I've made. I will show you how to carve it and I will explain you the proportions on it, okay? So enjoy and uh, let's start right now. Okay, let's grab a block of wood. This one is surprisingly basswood, cut diagonally from a square piece. Uh, before it was 40 mil by 40 mil by 75 mil, which is inch and a half by inch and a half by three inches. And uh, for those who don't have a power tools at home, uh, I suggest you to cut it uh, diagonally with the handsaw, just clamp it in the vise. Uh, I believe you have a vise at home and cut it in a half diagonal like, like this. If you don't have a vise, uh, just um, grab your square block as I did over here. And uh, this oval, which I already carved here, um, actually created nice two sides. So you can carve your face over here and uh, if you mess it up, like we do, right? Then you just flip it over and you have a second chance over here. So this is maybe another idea for you, which you can, which you can use if you don't have a power tools or you don't know how to do this uh, straight cut with the handsaw. With a, bit, with a bit of practice, you will be able to make it, that's for sure. So, I will leave it there for you as an idea. And um, we will start with that face. So I have already marked here the oval. And according to this uh, pattern and this, um, this drawing over here, we want to 
uh, mark the bottom of the nose because this is where we start at the moment. So how we find it? This measurement is is pretty much one uh, seventh of the whole length of the face. So if we have that three inches or 75 mil, uh, I've counted it around 10 millimeters. It doesn't have to be like super precisely counted, but that's the first thing, okay? 10 millimeters for the hair. And from this point over here, we can divide the rest into the thirds. The first third, as you can see here, is for the forehead. The second third is from the bottom of the nose to the eyebrows. And the rest is bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin. Okay, let's do that over here. So, I mark it. Six, the, we have 65 mil, so divided by three is something like 20. 22, 22 plus 22 is 44, and this is our bottom of the nose. This is the point we wanted. I will also find a half over here and mark it on each side, just roughly. You can, you can use a ruler, up to you. And this is gonna be the end of my stop cut, so I will do the stop cut uh, over here. So I can start with the stop cut right away. Okay, so we just cut in and cut it out like this. Okay, and then stop it over here on that point which I marked and the same over here. It will be sort of like around it. Uh, I will not connect those two points with a straight line, but it will be it will be around it, okay? So it will be like an arc like this. So stop cut and carve towards the stop cut. Just like that. Right. And with the chin, something like this. Um, can actually take a little bit more from over here and make a nice hollow. Right, so something like this. And uh, I'm going to carve also the, I've already marked that oval of the face. So I use these um, simple push cuts to cut along the line, just like that, and a pairing cut on the bottom, just like this. I will, not ex I will not show you how I did the second part because it's quite obvious over here, so I cut it now and uh, we will carry on. The next thing is to get rid of this material above the nose, okay? So I will start to carve it with the push cut like this. You can start with smaller pieces. This was quite a big chunk I just took. So start with the smaller pieces, just like that. Or you can carve it like this and it's gonna be even faster. Just be careful of this finger over here, okay? And when you have it already in this kind of shape, it looks like a wooden flip-flop from the side. 
Um, I believe that you can see these uh, sharp corners. So what we do with them, that we round it completely. Okay, so just grab those corners and carve them away. Until it's gonna be really nice rounded. this okay yeah okay so that's the top of the head and also also the bottom again you can use the pairing cut you can just flip it over and do it with the push cut I will leave it up to you but we want to have this nice and rounded okay just like this Like that. Just carve the corners. There we go. And with this one, what I want to do is that I just cut kind of like an angle, angle cut on that. It's gonna be our chin. like this and what's good thing about this is that it can actually stay like this <laughs> when we leave this little platform in the bottom okay so uh, the next thing is that I'm going to mark everything on on this piece Okay, this is gonna be a little shock for you now, uh, but I'm going to explain it to you right away. So again, at, uh, right like at the beginning, uh, we have marked the 10 mil at the top and then the thirds, first third, second and third. And also when I was marking the eyes over here uh, and the nose, I know that overall, uh, width of the face is around 50 millimeters so two inches which means the length is 75 something like that yeah 75 so that's another dimension we would like to remember and that is that um, the width I mean yeah the width of the face is two-thirds of the height Okay, so 50, two thirds from that 75 mil. So that's another thing you want to remember. And when we have a look at it again, we will see one, two, three, four, five eyes will fit into the width of, the, of that face. Okay, so and also one nose. The, the width of the nose is actually the, the width of one eye. So because we have it 50 millimeters, that means this is going to be 10 millimeters each of those parts. Okay, so 10 millimeters for eye, 10 for nose, 10 for another eye and so on. So what I did is that I found our 10 mil uh, from this center line, which I marked. I have found 10 mil uh, the nose, okay? And then when I go with this line up, another 10 mil will end up over here. So from here to there, there will be my eye somewhere over here, okay? And then also, What's quite uh, important here uh, is the ear. So the top of the ear, you can see it here, starts in this third. So this is the top of the ear and the bottom of this, the ear starts slightly above that third, okay? So I marked it here as well and on the other side. Uh, the rest, the hair, uh, if you have a look at the pattern, it's there. Okay, 
So I will start to carve out this hole for the eye. So what I do is that I uh, dip my knife in. I do this stop cut and I start with a small little triangular cut just like that and I will I will en enlarge it just like that so I should start with a stop cut first and this cut over here get rid of it so stop cut then this cut along that nose line and then this push cut from the bottom okay so one more time stop cut and this one is a little bit curved it's a bit tricky one but it's a little bit curved and also under angle right like this not 90 degrees this one i will just copy now the line of the nose so it will be something somewhere here and here i want to slightly touch the surface uh, under the nose and i start right on that surface lay the knife on it and i hope i will hopefully end up by taking the shaving off away okay like this and then clean clean the rest okay just like that nice and also these these corners i just want to even it up with the rest rest of the cheek so just make it kind of like around it okay this is it so when I have the second uh, hole for the eye ready, I will start to play with the nose a little bit. Uh, so it's gonna be a little bit more triangular at the bottom, not that flat. So I will get rid of this and also this part over here. Like that, uh, it's not that pointy as well, so carve a little bit over here, then we can drop it down a little bit. It's gonna be straight nose, so if I have a look at it from side, it's quite straight. And also, when we look at our nose from the bottom, it's usually a triangular shape, so. I will do a stop cut over here and I will start to carve shaving by shaving to get into that triangular shape of the nose when I have a look at it from the bottom I'm getting closer okay something like that so that's one side and I'll do the other side as well. So I can stop cut, small shaving and trying to achieve that triangle. Okay, just like that. So it looks pretty good from the bottom as a triangle and just carve a little bit from the top. It's also not that cornery, so <laughs> get rid of the corners and 
Maybe again the point tip of the nose and these sharp corners over here we can get rid of them with gentle cuts like this and that's pretty much good enough that's good enough so the next thing as you can see here i have outlined the the hair and the ears over here so for the ear over here i do the stop cut right above it and I carve towards it. Okay, just like that. Just a stop cut and make it rounded with the rest of the hair. Just like this. Then another stop cut at the bottom. And just a tiny little push cut okay there we go and tidy it up around here a little bit that's the one so it's gonna be our ear and uh, yeah of course same on the other side that's obvious but I want to show you something else now and that's how to outline this hairline so I will start with with this cut with the tip of my knife Uh, like that and I go right around the line okay just like this I'm quite going quite deep and I lay it sort of flattish not completely like uh, the 90 degrees and I just carve along the line, just like this. Okay, and I'll finish that V cut with cutting from the other side along that line. Tidy it up later. And like this. End up over here. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so this is how you can do it. Uh, tidy up these cuts which didn't which didn't make it. <laughs> Just like that. Here is something, some leftover. Okay. And when we have this, uh, over here above the ear, we can join it with this little, little cut over here. The ear is kind of rounded in, in the bottom. And what I want to do is that I will get rid of this sharp corner. And I will even it up with the rest of the face surface. Like this, with, the, with these gentle push cuts. Okay, just like this, right to that. It's kind of like a stop cut as well, the, the line we just made. So if you, if you like what I'm doing here and what I'm showing you here, um, it's really helpful for me if you subscribe to the channel. Uh, there is uh, also a little ring button if you click on it, uh, every time I post a new video, you will get a not notification and you can learn with me the art of wood carving. Okay. 
Okay, really helpful for me. Thank you for, for subscribing. So this is the forehead. That's the hair over here. This is the ear. And we will move on to the mouth and uh, chin. Okay. Uh, there is one thing I have missed while carving the ears. So this looks like now that he's got a little block of wood uh, on, on the side of his head. So what I want to do is that I just uh, carve under angle a little bit like this and skew it a little bit. Okay. Wow. And that looks it looks a bit bigger, a bit, bit better. Just like that. Okay, just a detail. Um, then we can move on to the mouth like this, all right? So we will use V cuts again. So I just cut one in here, another one over here, flip it over, and the same thing. Cut it out and cut to the to this part of the nose and then just stop it. You're gonna fall fall out. And uh, I just want to make another stop cut right under the nose. So with just a few dips of your knife, break those fibers. Just like that, okay. Uh, let's do this one as well. Okay, that's the one. Let's carve it out. And now, again, I have sharp corners over here, so I get rid of them with the tip of the knife. And I will make this hole a bit bigger. Just like this. There we, there we go. Okay. That's pretty much it. For the technique as well, um, I hold it with my thumb, as with my thumb, and with these fingers down below. One, two, three, and I use this thumb as a pushing, pushing thing, which pushes the push the blade. And also, uh, sometimes I just leave it here, and I lever lever the blade over my thumb okay so this another thing you can you can learn i'll 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 be probably talking about it uh later as well so um we have these wrinkles done uh let's do the mouth um here is also one another measurement you want to remember it's not written here i'll probably write it down there as well so it's gonna be that in this last third the mouth starts in that first third below the nose so if we divide it into thirds over here the mouth line the mouth line will be somewhere over here in that first third okay so i just eye it over here so it's gonna be somewhere here one two three so somewhere here just do the line like that and again i just use a simple Simply cut, 
just like this. Okay, that's it. Maybe make it a little bit longer. And uh, one more thing I want to do here is that I will do this kind of like a hollowed cut. See the movement, what I'm doing with my knife. I'm going like this up, like this. So I'll create a small hollow under the, under the mouth and it will make this this chin sticking out. I quite like it like this, okay? So this is it and we can move on to the, on to the eyes now. Yeah. Yes, we want to be sure that we have a sharp knife before carving the eyes. And when we think we have it, we just grab the pattern again and uh, have a look at this. Uh, we will make mark our line, the first line that's gonna be the top line over here. Okay, we will mark it right here. The next thing we want to remember is that the eyes are actually right in a half in overall length of the face, okay? So that's another one you uh, you want to remember. There you go. So according to the pattern, I'll start marking it somewhere here. Just do this and a longer, a longer mark like this. And we will finish he here as we said at the beginning because we measured the 10 mil for the eye is somewhere here and now just use the tip of the knife but very very carefully and not that deep outline the top of the eye right along the line just like this and then lay it a little bit flatter that uh, that knife and take it away so you will end up you will end up with with this, okay? And then right below is another line. So mark it, it starts somewhere here. Goes to about here, just have a look at the pattern and redraw it. Yep, something like that. Just flip it over. And with the same thing, same uh, gentle cut with the tip of the tip of the knife, cut it, and then get rid of it from the other side. Just like this, use the stop cuts. I need to be really, really, really gentle here. Okay. Just like that. There's a little bit of chips over here. Right, so this is it pretty much. That's, okay, I have absolutely no idea how did that happen, but the last part of the video somehow disappeared. So, 
this these wrinkles are already done uh, same as the second eye so as you can see life is not perfect and also when i did the second eye it was not just peaches and creams if you have a look here uh, it actually chipped away so uh, yeah i'm here to show you the reality as well okay so it happened what I can do is that I can carve in and uh, fix it, uh, but yeah, it's it's all right as it is now. For the purpose of the video, it's 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 all right. So uh, I have already done this wrinkle over here and these little wrinkles, so I will show it to at least on this one. Uh, what I want to do is that I will start again with the tip of my knife to do the uh, V-cut along the line, flip it over, it's gonna be pretty much the same, just like that, and from here I can do these push cuts just like that and a stop cut over here and tidy it up okay just like this so that's the that's the wrinkle these little ones are very easy so just tiny cuts with the tip of the knife one and two pretty much same v cut i would go on these wrinkles on the forehead like i did here uh so yeah it's already done oh, well maybe i can make another one and the, the third one just have a look at it um it's a good idea to do it just not that deep because he's not that old uh well when i have a look at the <laughs> when i have a look at him he doesn't really look like ian mcclellan he looks more like um what's his name the president nixon <laughs> Well, sorry, Ian. I didn't want. Uh, it was not meant to be like that. I didn't mean it. Well, anyway, so we have here this uh, third wrinkle, and the last bit that it was this eyebrow. So what I did here was just with the small cuts, one after another. I did the eyebrow. Okay. It's not a big, big science. Just like that. And the last one over here. And that's pretty much it. So the carving is done. Um, you can stay i'm quite happy for that and uh, also uh, you can paint it i use acrylics uh, the black paint i know ian has a uh, gray hair white hair now but yeah i wanted a little bit of contrast so i used the black color and also the the eyes they are uh they are made with this uh, this yellow and it's all uh yellow <laughs> with the white and it's all uh, dipped into the uh, linseed oil. Also, one last uh, dimension I want to show you is uh, that the, the actually the size between the pupils is two eyes. Okay, it's written over here. So when I measure between the eyes. I should have roughly 20 millimeters, which is very close. And that means that the mouth here 
should be also two eyes so two 20 millimeters so roughly like that and also uh, one last uh, thing is that when I do a vertical line from the pupil I will find the end of my mouth okay just like that cool so that's it that's the human face this is it from my end we have learned tons of new information today it was a very important lesson for all of us uh, I'll be glad to read your comments down below the video because it also helps the channel so thank you for that and we are signing off with Ian McKellen so I will see you in the next one we wish you a really nice day.